Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, August 6th. I'm on my way to a new Weight Watchers meeting. I'm going to be receptionist for two new meetings this morning, so I still need to do my makeup in the car, and I gotta run, but let me show you what I'm taking with me this morning. So this morning, I'm just taking my usual beverages with me. I should be done with work at about 11 o'clock, but I'm taking my regular zero-point cup of coffee. It is coffee for zero smart points and one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. I also have tea again this morning because I did actually miss this yesterday. So um, yeah, I missed tea, I can't believe it. So I'm having again two packs of this wild berry zinger this time. So this is celestial seasonings and the berry, the berry tea is so much better than the peach. The peach had very little flavor, but all of the berries when I brew two bags are pretty flavorful. So I will probably after work put some ice in this and have this as some iced berry tea. So also zero smart points. Um, those are my beverages. I am looking to break my fast again today at around three o'clock. Hey guys, it is 11.48 and I just finished at Weight Watchers. Two meetings, but I'm telling you, the first meeting was phenomenal. It was so huge. There were over 55 people. It was standing room only. This is my leader who led the meeting, whom I love. She did amazing, but it just, it just goes to show she is a fabulous leader if all of these people keep coming back and losing weight. The entire weight loss for the first meeting was over 80 pounds. Yes, Weight Watchers. That's so close to a ton. That's close to a ton. Ha ha ha. Anyway, so I worked two meetings. I am slightly exhausted. I'm about to go get some ice for my tea. Like I said this morning, I actually missed having my tea yesterday. I think I just needed a little something. Um, I had nothing for hours, so I just needed a little something to look forward to and something to get me through. So this is just the Celestial Seasonings. Tomorrow I am starting the Bria Tea Detox. So tomorrow will be green tea again, which means I'll be having lemon with my green tea. So. That's it for now. I'm going to run in and get some ice. I've just had the two zero point beverages so far. We are going to, where are we going? Griffith Park Live Steamers, the Disney barn. And Disney. FYI, if you're looking for a job and you live somewhere near Pasadena or La Canada, La Canada, La Canada. there is a job opening here at the McDonald's. <laughs> starting at $12 an hour. See, Eddie is looking out for you. Starting at $12 an hour? Yep. Is that minimum here? I don't know. How do you know it's $12 an hour? Did you Close go apply? Plus the size Oh. Now I'm hiring $12 an hour. Oh, box for McDonald's? That's For a fly, a fry flipper? See, Eddie is looking out for you guys if you live here. Good job. If you're not living here, tough luck. <laughs> I did not get a chance. You know what? I'll show you guys my outfit of the day right now when I get out. Okay guys, here is my outfit of the day. It's super cold in the Weight Watchers meeting room, but it's super hot in California, so I'm about to change into my weekend uniform. Can you guess? Okay, let's revisit last night very briefly. Number one, so glad I got it out of my system. I used 126 points yesterday. I think the last few weekends I've been going pretty high on points on both Saturday and Sunday. This week is gonna be just Saturday because I was so sick yesterday, blah. Um, I think I've typically been doing like 70 something on Saturday and maybe like 100 something on Sunday. So to this weekend hopefully is going to be just 126 on Saturday. Today I'm hoping to be pretty much within range and hopefully uh, blue dot range. So there's that. Um, number one, I think I'm totally done with buttered popcorn for a while. I didn't even finish the buttered popcorn last night because it got to the point where I was like, <sighs> like sick. So I was like totally done with it. Um, and then I also had a bunch of other junk like cookies, cookies, 
wafers, more cookies, just dumb junk. Um, so I was literally, oh, by the time I didn't even finish my sangria last night, I didn't finish the popcorn, I had some of the cookies, but not all. Um, by the time we went home, I was like, ugh. You know that feeling like when you're just like done and then all night I had heartburn all night all night long heartburn um, in the morning I TMI but in the morning I went lots of bathroom <laughs> um, so I'm done I'm totally done with the splurging for now thank goodness so that's over um, today is a new day. I honestly, you know what? I don't feel a bit bad about it because number one, it's less this weekend than what it has been the last few weekends. And number two, I feel like maybe I needed to just go so far overboard that I made myself sick because now I am done with it. Um, who knows about next weekend, but for right now I can tell you, I don't want any kind of cookies buttered popcorn, fatty junk, blah. And the whole stuff at the party, um, that was like a total fail. Like whatever she had planned to have catered didn't happen. So she got those a huge tray of those Costco, they were pretty big size actually, they were those Costco pinwheels. I found um, the nutrition information online from a photo that somebody had taken of the Costco turkey, cheese roll-ups so that's what I used to calculate the smart points um, and then there were Doritos I never eat chips ever um, there was the regular sangria which I found out I do not like as much as my own sangria number one it was just literally sangria poured out of a bottle so there was none of the good stuff added no fizzies no fruit um, so it wasn't very exciting, but it was there, so I drank it. The Doritos, I don't even really care for much, but I was getting my makeup done, and so I couldn't move, and the Doritos were right there. So that's what happened at the party, and that's what happened at the movies. I'm done over it, and it feels so good to be um, back on track today, and I definitely needed the intermittent fasting this morning, so I'm feeling much more cleansed, much better, empty, and when I do eat today, it's going to be good, healthy food. I can't wait to show you because I've actually already tried it. Okay guys, we are here at Walt Disney's Barn. That's right. Griffith Park. Griffith Park, Los Angeles, California. Life steamers. Life steamers. This is my weekend uniform outfit of the day number two. Oh yes, cut off Santa tea. Can't get any better than that. Here's Eddie's weekend uniform. Oh wait, that's Eddie's everyday uniform. <laughs> okay, we're going in. I'll show you some good stuff in just a minute. Here we are at Walt's Barn at Griffith Park. It's near the live steamers and also around uh, the Travel Town Park at Griffith Park. Inside the barn is one or two uh, mini trains that Walt has built. Uh, when he was at the studios, he would have his engineers teach him how to use all the equipment so that he can build his own trains. Uh, he built his own railroad in his backyard and opened it up to the public on Sundays. Uh, he actually built the property for the train, bought the property for the train, and then built the house on the property. Uh, during the weekends, people would come and ask to ride on his train, and he had to actually open up his driveway and create a parking lot. So you can see that that was probably the start of the actual amusement parks coming to mind. So inside the barn, we have a couple little trains. We also have some pictures and documentation about what Walt used to do at his farm. So let's take a little ride on the live steam trains and it'll be about 15 minutes worth of uh, interesting travel time. Hey guys, we're here at Walt's Barn. 
guys, here we are at Walt Disney's barn. This is the barn that was actually on his property. Eddie says it's near, near or it was near Bel Air. It is now in Los Angeles near Griffith Park. And now it houses many, many Hi, of welcome Walt's, to Walt's barn. artifacts. Hi. <laughs> We've got photos and artifacts and trains. If you guys didn't know, Walt loved trains. This is Walt's train. He probably built it himself. And what he did was he tinkered around a lot. He had the engineers at the studio teach him how to use all the equipment to can build trains. And now you can see a lot of And that was before they were imaginators, they were just engineers. So Walt built this train right here, Eddie? Yeah, I Here is a rare photo of Walt Disney and his wife. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if it's rare, but it's rare to me because I have never seen that. And here is uh, Walt's pork pie hat. We're about to ride the train finally. It was a long, it was a long wait. Chicken, chicken, chicken. They're super busy today, but we're in the very, very front. Julie's gonna show the engine in a second. I'm gonna show the engine.
Okay, I just found something that totally made, made my day. Made her day. Made my day. It is. Bam! Yes! Thank you, Joe Albertsons. Woohoo! It's Joe Albertsons Supermarket. Supermarket. Thank you, Joe Albertsons. Three of these bad boys at four fifty each. Is it Joe Albertsons Ouch. Supermarket anymore? But you know what? I'm afraid to not be able to find them, so I stocked up. Okay guys, it's time for some R&R &R in the massage chair in front of the AC. Okay you guys, I did not realize how late it is because I actually did a couple videos. Um, it's like 5.40. I actually ate, the first thing I ate today were these, Smart Cakes. <laughs> so I actually ate and did a video review on Smart Cakes and I had my first cake probably at like 520. So I don't know how or why I did not do that on purpose today with the intermittent fasting. Um, but for some reason it was just, it wasn't really hungry until that time. Um, you know what? I bet it's probably because of all the stuff I ate yesterday. I definitely was so far from hungry earlier today. And I know that was the reason. Um, but yeah, I just had my first meal of the day so um, if you want to see my complete opinion go watch the video but I did have three smart cakes they are one smart point each um, I had chocolate coconut and cinnamon so I have had three smart points to start my day we are actually going to be going out to dinner in just a while we're going to a new restaurant it's called Gus's barbecue in Pasadena California so I actually was looking at the menu I think on Thursday Thursday I literally pre-tracked for my entire weekend because I wanted to be super prepared um, Friday was perfect perfect day yesterday Saturday um, I tried to pre-track but I didn't really know what was gonna happen at the party and then my whole like movie thing just kind of went a little haywire so didn't work so well there however I have pre-tracked today I did not pre-track the smart kicks because I actually didn't know at that time that I was going to be doing the review um, but other than smart kicks I should be relatively within points today um, I think I was I had tracked 29 um, so I will probably be at 32 smart points um, it's Sunday night and you know me and this is the last of my weekend so I may have another 10 points in sangria probably not that much but I'm gonna say that's the high end so um, I should end my day at like definitely 45 or less unless I do something really stupid <laughs> So that's what I'm planning right now. Um, I have already chosen what I'm going to eat at the restaurant. It is salad. Um, so I did what I have told you guys before. Go to the website. Be prepared. See what they have to eat. Um, I always go to the website and I actually now print out the menu. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm not super controlling. But I want to know all my options. So I go to the website. I print out the menu. Um, and then I go through it and I circle the things I think that I might want that might be points friendly. Um, then I narrow it down to like one or two options. In this case, I um, decided between two salads. Um, so when I get to the point where I can't decide which of those to have, I will calculate the smart points on two items and then either one leave it up to me to decide at the time how I'm feeling which one is gonna taste better and sound better or number two I go with the lowest point option so in this case I actually chose two different salads one is a tri-tip um, salad or steak salad I think that's the one I'm going to have um, and then the other one was maybe a salmon kale salad. So actually both of those salads um, are going to be the same for smart points. I believe around eight smart points. So I decided to have the beef um, because I had salmon the other night and because I love eating beef when I go out. So that's what I'm having tonight is a beef salad. I will actually describe to you exactly what it is when we head that way. And I'll let you know the smart points and then of course as always I'll take a lovely photo for you guys anyway that's what's going on so far today um, I can't believe the weekends almost gone but I'm gonna milk it I'm gonna milk every last minute yes I am okay as promised I'm gonna tell you guys what I printed out 
what my calculations are and what I'm gonna order for tonight. So the place is called Gus's Barbecue. It sounds really, really authentic, like very good authentic Southern barbecue compared to a lot of the chains that we have around here. So I'm very excited to try it. Um, the menu is a two pager, but look, it's super, super, super duper tiny. So I printed out the menu and as you can see, I circled, I circled two things that I thought sounded good. Actually, both of them are salads. A lot of things sounded good, but they sounded also really high in points and I knew I didn't really want to spend a ton of points. Interestingly enough, they actually have shrimp and grits here, which sounds fabulous to me. But now, because I know I can make shrimp and grits very delicious and very low points, then I'm like, eh, I don't think I need to have it in a restaurant. So isn't that interesting? So is I'm like, okay. Is that like spaghetti? Maybe, because who goes to a restaurant and orders spaghetti? I used to, but I don't anymore. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, cause I know I can make really good shrimp and grits and I can make it really tasty and really low in points. So I'm gonna try something else. There were a couple of other items that sounded good, but actually uh, they just sound really good really southern really delicious fried pickles um deviled eggs good salads um armadillo. no armadillo no crocodile they had lots of uh, barbecue uh plate like combination plates that sounded really good um but i just decided to go with salad because their salads actually sounded really good too so here's what i narrowed it down to i narrowed it down to a smoked salmon salad and I calculated that at eight smart points without the dressing, and then a barbecue seared steak salad, which was eight to 11 points without the dressing. The reason for the eight to 11 points is, becomes, is because it comes with onion, what is it? Uh, shredded onion strings. To me, that means onion rings so um, if I get the onion rings it's gonna be a few more points if I don't it's gonna be a little bit less so I actually was going to bring my own dressing and I totally forgot hey FYI what you can make your own salads at home too anyway so I was going to bring my own dressing. I forgot to do that. So what I'll do is probably just get my dressing on the side and do the fork dip thingy. So I still want to have the barbecue seared steak salad. It sounds really good. I love to have beef when I go out to eat. So here's what's on the salad. Smoked tri-tip, mixed greens, pickled cranberries, toasted almonds, shaved radish, onion, oh sorry, oven roasted tomatoes, blue cheese crumbles, shredded onion strings, charred sweet corn vinaigrette. Sub blackened chicken, yeah, I don't want the chicken. Okay, so here's my calculations based on that description. So I counted, this is, the high end because with salads you never really know how much protein you're gonna get it could be anywhere from three to five ounces so I calculated on the high side and then I will adjust later if there's not very much protein so I'm counting five ounces of tri-tip for five smart points I'm counting um, a tablespoon of almonds toasted almonds for one smart point a half an ounce of blue cheese for two smart points again if it looks like there's a ton of blue cheese I will upgrade that and change it a little bit but I think a half an ounce of blue cheese is probably a lot for a restaurant salad um, so that's two smart points and then for the onion strings I'm counting three onion rings so you know, just you gotta sometimes just choose something similar in the tracker. So I'm counting three onion rings for three smart points. Um, so that total is 11 smart points, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's 11 smart points and that is without the dressing. So I'm probably going to do about a teaspoon of dressing, um, which is how much I use when I do the fork dip method. If there's a lot of extra yummy ingredients, like it sounds like on this salad, then sometimes I don't need the dressing at all. Um, so if I do use the dressing, it's usually just a little bit because when I eat salad, I like to 
taste the salad too. So um, I don't usually use a lot of dressing, so I will count probably one point for the dressing. So my salad tonight will be 12 smart points. If there are more or less ingredients, I will adjust accordingly. So I am also going to have mojitos tonight because they sound very good. Um, if you guys remember back when I was in Vegas, I told you guys the mojito hack and how to order mojitos for very low smart points. So um, what you wanna ask for is just ask your server, can you make a mojito with just the club soda, the rum, the lime juice, and the mint? That's it, you guys. That's all that's in a mojito except simple syrup. They also add, they'll add like a triple sec, triple sec, or a simple syrup. That's just sugar. So I like my mojitos a little tart, um, so I'm totally okay with that. So I just order the club soda, the rum, the lime juice, and the mint. And if you like your sweeter, just carry one or two Splenda packets in your purse. Add that when the drink comes and bam, you have a yummy mojito for one and a half smart points. No wait, three smart points. <laughs> the alcohol is one and a half ounces and that is three smart points. And that's all you have to count for if you have one mojito. If you have more than one, um, the whole Weight Watchers points thing, the points round up. So I am planning to have three. I may not have all three. If I have three mojitos, that's going to be four, four and a half ounces of rum, which is nine, no wait, that's 10 smart points. Three, four, four. Yeah, 10 smart points. <laughs> so that's where it rounds up. So, um, that amount of rum is 10 smart points and you also have to account for the lime juice at that point because if you have one drink, the lime juice is not enough to be points. When I have three drinks, I count a quarter cup of lime juice, which is one smart point. So if I have one mojito, it's three smart points. If I have three mojitos, it's 11 smart points. So just something to be aware of, um, but a little trick you can do if you like mojitos and you bring your Splenda. So um, we're almost to the restaurant already. I will show you guys what I have when we get it and I'll let you know how many points I end up tracking for all of it. What are you gonna have, Eddie? Um, He's gonna have probably beef and chicken barbecue. Okay, here's my super light, super delicious mojito, club soda, rum, lime juice, and mint mint. It's super delicious. Mm. Kind of tart, but that's the way I love it. Three smart points, guys. Thank you. Okay guys, it is almost nine o'clock and that was really delicious eventually. <laughs> so let me see if I can run this down for you. So first of all, Eddie decided to order the cornbread, which was really good. It was like a very, I don't know, I want to say old school cornbread. It was in a skillet, but it was very dense. It had a lot of oil and the top was kind of um, oil based, kind of chewy, like oil sugar kind of flavor. You liked it, right Eddie? Yes. So it was pretty good cornbread, um, but I had about a third of a slice. So I counted a third of a slice for two smart points. They had jalapeno jelly with the cornbread, which I have always thought sounded really good, but I've never tried. So I tried the jalapeno jelly. It was really good. It was sweet, but it was spicy. Very good. So jalapeno jelly is actually not too bad on points. Two tablespoons is I think two smart points. So I counted a teaspoon for one smart point. So I had two smart points on the cornbread, one smart point on the jalapeno jelly, and then they also had something I die for, which is honey butter. <laughs> so I had like half a teaspoon of honey butter. It was like a fourth or a half, I can't remember what I counted, but it was one smart point. So the cornbread with the accompaniments, four smart points. So that was an addition 
that I did not expect. Then I got my salad. The salad looked awesome. I took a picture for you guys and I ended up, there were more, I think I was going to count three onion rings and um, I started off counting four because there was more onion than I expected. It was kind of loaded on the top. It was really delicious. Um, the beef on the salad was really good too. It was nice and kind of medium rare, very good. There was only about three ounces of the beef, so I trimmed that down to three ounces instead of five for three smart points. Um, and then I started getting into the salad and unfortunately it had dressing and I had asked for the dressing on the side. So I had already eaten the onion rings and the beef and a fair part of the salad um, because I kind of thought it was in my mind at first. I was like, no, it's just, you know, maybe it's the marinade from the pickled cranberries or whatever. So I thought it was in my mind and eventually I was like, no, no, I just, I need to send this back because I'm not enjoying it. There's dressing and it's not the way I asked for it. So when I sent it back, I asked for her, I told her I loved the beef. It was really good, but there's dressing all over the rest of this and I really wanted it with no dressing. Um, so they made the rest of the salad without the beef with no dressing and you know what it was amazing after that it was so good it was just the greens and um, it was one of those salads that had so much good stuff that you don't even need the dressing it had the pickled cranberries and the almonds and the blue cheese and it was so good I wish I would have had it like that the first time so what I ended up counting was I did leave in the one point for the dressing because even though I didn't use the dressing on my own, I did have some of the dressing the first time when I had the salad. So I just left that one point for dressing. Um, and then I bumped the blue cheese up to a full ounce for four smart points because between the blue cheese I ate the first time around and then the blue cheese I ate when it came back, um, I figured a full ounce for four smart points. And then the onion rings is what killed me because I did eat the onion rings the first time. The first time I gave some to Eddie and then I ate probably about four onion rings. Um, so I counted four for four smart points. When the salad came back, it had more onion rings and Eddie didn't want any more at that point. So I ate all the onion rings. They were so good. So in the end, I counted 10 onion rings for nine smart points. So um, those were the changes I made to the salad that I pre-tracked. I think, oh, I can't remember the total, but that's, I'll put the total, what I had was salad one and salad two on the picture. So you guys know exactly what I counted. I did have the three mojitos. They were very delicious. I ended up the last half of the third mojito, I kind of looked over and I was like, oh, there's sweeteners on the table. So I thought I would try a packet of sweetener and just see if I liked it better tart or sweet. A half or a full packet of sweetener to a half a drink was way too much. So it was super sweet. But I mean, if you like your mojito sweet, add the sweetener. Anyway, it was super delicious. The second round was super delicious. The cornbread, um, I probably wouldn't order again, but Eddie actually liked the cornbread here better than at Marie Callender's last week. So he actually likes this style of cornbread. I really loved the jalapeno jelly, and I think we should make it and put it on some meat. Go ahead. That would be so good. I think we <laughs> should make it. Anyway, that's dinner tonight. We're headed home. I don't think I'm gonna have much more tonight, maybe a glass or two of sangria, and I need to go to bed shortly, so it's nine o'clock. It is like going three, four. No, a glass or two of sangria, that's it for me. So um, my points are actually higher than what I had planned and what I expected because of the cornbread and also because of extra sangria, but I'm not worried because it's not, it's not like binge points, you know what I mean? It's not like last night, it's not like dense, heavy food points. Um, I'm okay spending a couple extra points on sangria um, or like a point or two extra, four points extra actually on the cornbread. Um, but if it's literally just points that I'm spending on mindless eating junk, that's what I don't like. Tonight, I'm totally fine. So 
wherever my points land, um, they'll probably be like maybe high 40s, low 50s. Totally okay with that. Tomorrow's Monday, we're starting fresh. I have one good day before my points start over and I'm totally fine with that. Also, tonight I'm starting my uh, Bria tea. I'm starting the colon tea tonight. I think it's called detox cleanse tea. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm starting that tonight. So um, tomorrow's a new day. It should be awesome. So I'll show you guys how I finish the day. That's it for me, over and out. What about you? Any final parting words for you, Mr. Almanza? I would be happy with chicken and that cornbread. Eddie had a brick chicken. It Just was... chicken. No coleslaw, no mac and cheese. Just one of those orders of... Tonight he had the brick chicken with the coleslaw, with the mac and cheese, because it comes with two sides. But he's saying that he would be happy with just chicken because Eddie can literally just eat protein for every meal for days and days and days, unless he goes out for fast food, which fast food is not just protein. <laughs> anyway, he really likes his protein and he really likes his chicken. And the chicken tonight was a brick chicken so I don't know what they do to it, but it was very flat. It was a quarter of a chicken and it was boneless. I don't know how they do that, but when he was cutting into it, it looked really tender and very, it looked like pork. So it looked really good. Did it taste like pork or was it better than? Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. It looked good. Would you go back to this place? What? Sure. Oh, that's good. I would go back if they do my salad right. That was actually a really good salad. I don't usually have salads because, you know, some salads they say they have all this stuff on it and you get basically lettuce and a sprinkle of nothing. This salad was actually pretty good. It would have been better with five ounces of protein instead of three, but other than that, it was amazing. Oh, and please, no dressing. <laughs> when I ask for no dressing, not being rude. I just, I really don't want dressing. Thank you. <laughs>